Hi, this is Chanel with DTools Cloud and today we're talking about how to create a quote and some best practices you can put in place to help maximize your quoting efficiency. I've spoken with a lot of integrators who love the sales experience. They like collaborating with clients and helping bring their visions to life. However, when it's time to quote, they dread those office days because it means sitting down for long periods of time and cranking out quotes. Well, the good news is you can now create quotes on the fly while working in the field with clients and share your proposal before you leave the job site. In this short video, we'll review our three quoting styles and talk about a few tips to help make your overall documentation process faster. So let's select our opportunity and go to the quote section and straight away we arrive at our first tip. From the more menu, I could save time by copying this quote to an existing or a new opportunity and use it as a base. This shortcut is awesome because it will help you save time when you're quoting a similar system to one that you've already presented. But we'll be doing a new quote together. Please keep in mind if you are presenting multiple quotes, only one quote can be accepted per opportunity. So if your client isn't going to move forward with the full proposal, perhaps you're doing it by phase, you should separate each phase by creating a new opportunity and quote for the same client. This will allow for multiple quote acceptances. All right, so let's create a new quote and you initially land on the project description tab of the overview section and we arrive at our second tip in automating documentation. Create little snippets of all the solutions and services you provide to form a master template and simply save it as a default. This way your sales resources always have a lot of documentation ready to go all the time and can simply edit what's not applicable versus starting from scratch. Now moving forward, all your documentation is standardized across multiple users. Perfect. Next, I want to take a moment to highlight client mode because you can turn this on when you're working in the field with clients and it will hide your sensitive pricing information so you can work freely and not worry about clicking in the wrong spot. So on to the fun stuff, design. There are three styles or workflows in which you can approach the quoting process, list, visual, and image. List is the classic style of adding equipment to locations and systems. Visual is a more modern style where you can upload a floor plan or create your own floor plan, then add equipment on top to create your quote. And image quoting is just slick. It's actually my favorite style because you can be on site with an iPad, doing a walkthrough, snapping photos, adding items, taking notes, and it just feels really fresh and pro. It's also a great space to work if you're doing a retrofit project and don't have access to floor plans. You can simply take a picture and place the equipment you plan to install on top, giving the client a good idea of what the finished installation will look like. So no matter which style you choose, you have the freedom to bounce around while working, knowing that every style funnels into the same output, a proposal. So let's start with list. And I'll go ahead and add a new location. You can add a description if you'd like, and we can start searching for items to add. I'll search for my favorite controlled touchscreen from Control 4. And what's cool about how our search is designed is that you're simultaneously searching your catalog and the DTools library. So any items you add from us automatically get added to your catalog for next time. This allows our customers to get straight to work and not worry about setup. We'll build out your catalog for you based on the items that you've quoted. Okay, so let me add my touch screen. And I'm prompted for my optional accessories, so let's include those. Now keep in mind that DTools Cloud is smart, so we shape ourselves to how you like to work. 
If you accessorize a product on the fly, we'll remember that action and leverage it for next time so you can move more quickly without being less efficient. I'll select my product to view the details, and this is where you can make any quote specific changes to pricing and or labor for this product. Speaking of labor, the DTool suggested category labor is one hour of installation. You can edit this and dial it in for your team. I've also added an additional hour of programming, so you can easily stack different types of labor onto a product to ensure you're capturing all costs and translating them onto the client. So hopefully your proposals would be a bit more expensive when working in DTools Cloud as well. We recommend this approach because it brings more standardization to the sales process and users can quote with more confidence knowing that they're charging the correct amount of labor each time. That being said, some companies just prefer to manage their labor as a line item on the quote versus tying it to the equipment. So please note that you can continue to work that way in DTools Cloud as well. Now, before we review the quote, just a little bit more about this interface. You have a labor summary section here, so you can easily search all your different labor types and add a line item on the fly. You also have some more CRM coming through where you can add to do's as well as notes that are specific to the selected location. All right, finally, let's review the quote with the client. Make sure you turn on client mode first and then make your way to the review tab. And this is where you can give the client a nice pricing recap of product, labor, as well as make any adjustments. Quick note about adjustments, they can be renamed to capture a discount or any additional costs that you need to add like miscellaneous materials or travel expenses. Then when you're done, simply present your proposal. At a high level, this is list quoting. I hope you understand a bit more about this quoting style and stay tuned for the next video on visual quoting.